Hello everyone, I'm Morgan and today I wanted to talk to you about four new releases I've read recently. So as usual, I'm going to go from the one I like the least to the one I like the most. So the one I like the least is unfortunately Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshfeg. I say unfortunately because I've read most of Otessa Moshfeg's novels and I've loved most of them but I didn't love this one. In it we follow a woman, pretty old woman I would say, who has recently become a widow, so her husband has died and she decides to move to this cabin in the woods. She lives alone with her dog that she got uh, pretty recently as well and uh, one day she goes on a walk with her dog in the forest near her house and she finds this piece of paper that says her name was Magda, nobody will ever know who killed her, it wasn't me, here is her dead body. And after that she tries to understand who this person is, actually I don't think the name was Magda in the, the piece of paper originally, she just invented the name after that because she was trying to find out who that person may be and so to do that she was imagining her life for this person, she imagined it was a woman though it's not actually said anywhere and she gave it, well she gave that person name Magda and so she tries to solve the mystery kind of and I I did enjoy this novel kind of, it reminded me a bit of Eileen, another one of Odessa Moshpeck's novel in that it's very much a character study, which I do enjoy, uh, but the thing is in the end I'm not sure where this went at all. I found it was quite interesting this story because it kind of tells you how the mind of a writer works because she imagines this story from beginning to end but at some point some other characters happen that she has technically imagined and I wasn't sure what was real and what wasn't anymore and that's also a recurring theme I feel like in her novels so I shouldn't be surprised but I still find myself not really loving this when I was at the end. Like, I didn't struggle to finish it at all. I was into it, I guess, but I just wish I had understood something, was sure. So if anyone has read this novel, I would actually love to talk about it because, like as I said, I have no idea what was real and what wasn't. So that's um, a pretty interesting thing, but just, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's worth the read. The second book I have is Bad Island by Stanley Dunwood. This is a graphic novel that was made by an artist who was actually pretty well known for having made most of the Radiohead album covers, which I do really love. Radiohead is one of my favorite bands. So I heard about this um, online. I wanted to pick up a new release that I hadn't heard about and I did really enjoy the art it's all in black and white stuff like that and it's about this island and what happens to it when humans come to it and how it ends it's a very very quick read and I said I love the art but in the end I'm not sure how much of an impact this had on me so like yeah, the plot was just very very thin like there's something that happens to this island as I said and then it's over and it just yeah I don't know it's not very memorable but it's beautiful so I do want to keep it um, I guess that's worth something as it is a graphic novel so you should like the art but I still wish there was more story to it then the third book I have to talk about is The Trouble with Hating You by someone, I don't remember but I'll put it here. This is actually a romance book that, that was recommended because I subscribe to the my TBR stuff. Um, actually I heard about that in on Books and Lala's channel, Kayla. She made a video where she paid a site to recommend her books and I did the same thing and one of the recommendations that I got was for this book because I said I wanted to read some romances. I want to get into it and this was a good recommendation for me but I also had a bit of qualms with it so I will tell you 
This is the story of Jay and Lee who meet at the beginning of the book. Lee is a pretty young woman and her family is Indian and so is Jay's family and they are trying to set them up but Lee does not want to get married at all so she just leaves and upsets Jay's family for that because he came with her mother and they thought that they had done something wrong but they didn't it's just that Lee doesn't want to get married so uh, we follow their relationship because uh, the next day they discover that they work at the same place uh, because Jay has come on to help her company and so they have to get along somehow so this is basically a hate to love um, thing and I don't really love that though it did work but I prefer friends to lovers personally so that was one thing against it I guess uh, but more than that this was also about Lee who, well, struggles with her family, but more than that, she has been assaulted when she was a child, and the man who assaulted her is still part of the community, so it's really hard on her, and she has actually told her family before, but her father doesn't want to believe her, or if he does, he doesn't say so, and he always says that he's quite disappointed in her, and it's, it's awful, really and slowly Lee and Jay start becoming friends and he starts to help her with stuff and with people and it's it's beautiful to see I love that uh, but the other thing that I really hate in this book is that Jay is so possessive from the beginning and like he does acknowledge that and say that it's crazy because he has just met her so why would he be possessive but still like I, it's something that I hate so much just uh, in life and also in books um, men who are possessive so yeah that was that but uh, yeah overall I did really like this I love how feisty Lee can be uh, sometimes she's just uh, a great character to follow I love her attitude and stuff like that so good points but um, yeah just uh, a few things that bothered me and the last book I'm going to talk about is Vagabonds by Jing Feng Ho, translated from the Chinese by Ken Lu. This is a science fiction novel set in 2196, and it follows two characters, Echo and Luo, Jing, uh, Ying, who are very different. So Luo is um, a girl, and she is coming back to Mars after having lived for a few years on Earth. Um, basically, at this time, there's a huge community on Mars who live pretty far away from Earth and they don't have good relationship with Earth anymore. They've actually had a war um, against each other, but uh, in this novel they're trying to have discussions again. And um, before they had those discussions, Lu was sent to Earth with some of her friends uh, to discover Earth because they don't know it anymore. Basically on Mars they started this society uh, that had many rules that feel very much like communism to me. Uh, so they have to choose some job that they want to do and uh, they have to stick to that and the money is given uniformly so no one has more than someone else and they are given places to live as well as food and everything is rationed so there's nothing that can go wrong kind of but it's not really great so it's a utopia but it's also kind of a dystopia and it's really fascinating and so they are really into intellectual stuff because they don't have capitalism anymore and they criticize Earth for having that. So it's it's very interesting this novel in ideas. But the thing with this is that um, as it, it is very much a novel about ideas, I don't think it would appeal to many people uh, because, well, it's a science fiction novel and you typically expect science fiction to be quite plot driven and full of action but that's not what this is at all I mean there is some plot definitely and I do think it was interesting but mostly it's about the ideas that 
are here and I thought it was really interesting that this comes from a Chinese author actually because it's it's kind of what's going on in China I mean they have some sort of communism but they're also capitalists so it's I don't know I thought it was really interesting maybe it's just me um, interpreting things that way but I, I think there's some there are some similarities um, but overall yeah, I just thought it was really interesting I love the characters so we found most to Lu who is a young girl and so I said she comes back from living on earth and she doesn't really know how to adjust anymore because she's been on earth for so long um, basically she's 18 I think when she comes back or 19 and she was 13 when she left so it's been a long time and uh, she is trying to get used to stuff there but uh, she is finding herself wanting to go back to earth or change things and people don't want to change uh, this side it doesn't want to and so she's trying to change it and the other perspective that we follow is Echo. Echo is someone who comes from Earth and he comes to Mars with the same people uh, who brought Lou back and he is there to, um, to film something because he, he is a filmmaker and he also wants to discover stuff about his master who came to Mars uh, many many years ago and has just died so he goes to talk to some people that his master knew and tries to uncover something so there's a, a huge bit of plot with him and he also discusses how it is to make films which I really liked and uh, other ideas and many people on Mars are very really sp suspicious of him because he's from Earth and they've barely seen someone from earth ever so they think that he's there to steal things from them and uh, there are many other people who come from earth with him as well who are there for the discussions uh, to make peace and to make a pact basically between mars and earth and they are very much terrible people they're all trying to get stuff for their own benefit but also they want peace so um it's also another discussion it's just this novel was also quite long like uh the other the ebook that i had um from the publisher was like 450 pages but i saw that the finished novel is more than 600 pages so it's a, a chunker uh, but I, I really enjoyed it and um, also Luo is a dancer, a uh, ballet dancer and so we read a lot about how it feels to dance and that was really nice it's just there's a lot to this novel really but mostly like yeah the, the ideas and how they try to change the society and to see which one is better like on earth or on Mars and maybe they should try to learn from each other to make the best society but no one wants to change so it's it's a whole thing and uh, yeah I will not forget this novel I really really liked it but I just I don't really know who else is going to like it besides me because it's it's not full of plot at all it's very much ideas so if you're interested in those ideas you might like this novel but if not I would not recommend it so yeah that was it for me um, thank you for watching please tell me if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them as I've left me know um, that's all for today thank you for watching again and I hope to see you soon in another video goodbye Dream I know, deep up my feelings, feelings.